Um, so, as you may have seen already, Machina is really useful for learning the basics of robot motion, learning how to interact with the robot, and how to instruct it to do things based on writing sequences of actions, right? Um, but in the case of the bridge, this interface that we've been using for controlling the robot in real time, um, it's very helpful, it's very tactile, it's very immediate, uh, and it's good for tinkering and for learning the basics. But as you can imagine, um, it's not really designed to be a platform where you write more complex programs that interface with sensors, robots, that like meal complex surface that do things that require hundreds, if not thousands of lines of code, right? Um, it's very reduced in that sense. You've seen me using a notepad on a site to write programs and then copy pasting, but that's probably not the way you want to go if you want to write programs that are a bit more complex, right? If you want to do 3D printing with a robot, if you want to be listening to many things, events. Um, <clears throat> what's interesting about the bridge is that it gives you this console where you can type actions, you can stream it right away to the robot and you can see them on the queue in the buffer, all right? But what's also interesting about the bridge, and this is why it's called the bridge, is that when you open the interface um, in the background, it's also opening and it's running this thing called a WebSocket server. We don't really care what that means, but what it means is that any other environment, any other platform, any other programming language, or any other software that is able to communicate via WebSocket, and WebSocket is a really common, really popular protocol, any framework that can communicate via WebSockets will be able to connect to the bridge from the back end, just like we're doing with the console, and then send messages in the form of those commands that we've been typing on the console, send them to the bridge, and then have the bridge execute and communicate with the robot on your behalf. So the bridge can act as the middleman between the robot and any other application on your system. All right, and that's why if you go to the main repository of Robotex Machina, you can see that the .NET library is the core project and the core library on top of which everything is built. But if you don't know how to build Windows applications, then maybe it's a little bit outside your scope. Um, and the bridge is this interface that we've been using so far to interface with the robot. But there's Machina flavors for many other popular applications, such as Grasshopper, Dynamo. If you use processing, there's Machina for processing. Um, there's Machina for Python. And I have Machina in JavaScript somewhere. I still haven't published it yet, uh, but it will be there very soon. All right? And the way all these tools work is very similar. They, you can program your robot actions in this environment. Then you can send them to the bridge, they will show up on the bridge, the bridge will handle the lower level communication with the robot. And on top of that, you can also get some information back from the bridge on your platform about the state of how things are going in the terms of the execution of the robot. So let me show you some examples of how that can be done. All right? 